Happy Monday, friends. I'm ABC 13 meteorologist Alita Loresca with a look at your one minute weather. Tonight, we're going to see the risk for flash flooding increase as a line of heavy rain and thunderstorms move through the area. Highest rainfall potentially uh, two hour north. That's where we could see the highest threat for excessive rain to fall right now. Uh, we've got you down a 10 to 20 percent chance in our northern counties. Meanwhile, south of there, five to 10 percent. And you can see Tuesday, Wednesday looking at that flash flood potential equally uh, as well as some street flooding issues. Here's a look at the hour by hour forecast taking you through the lunchtime hour at 20% by six o'clock a 40% chance. It won't be really until the sun goes down where that threat for showers and thunderstorms increases to 70% here in Houston. Northwest counties will experience their best chance of seeing those heavier downpours just before the sun goes down and then Houston down toward Galveston really starts to get more active uh, eight nine o'clock in the evening and then right around midnight that slowly starts to weaken but those showers and thunderstorms will be firing up along the coastline you'll notice seven o'clock in the morning there will be some scattered downpours maybe even some thunderstorms along the coastline depending on where this front stalls we'll see the redevelopment of some showers and thunderstorms that will be ongoing not just for tuesday but also into wednesday so over the next five days the pattern suggests that we are still going to be dealing with rainfall totals between one to three inches most common but there will be those higher amounts uh, which will be isolated rain chances continue wednesday thursday and then plummet as we get into Friday, as some drier air blows in, high pressure building in, and that's gonna allow things to dry out uh, beginning on Friday and heading into the weekend. Now, something else that we're gonna be monitoring is the dust situation. And as you can tell, we've got another one of these dust clouds coming off the coast of Africa, making that 3,000 3, mile trek into the Gulf of Mexico and into Texas sometime by the end of the week. This dust cloud has some staying power Saturday Sunday the concentration levels are still high Monday going into Tuesday we're still seeing some of that dust but it does look like it may be thinning out as we get into early next week so keep that umbrella handy those rain chances stay high Wednesday Thursday then you can go ahead and ditch those umbrellas you're going to need the sunglasses also for those of you with some respiratory issues you'll definitely want to consider limiting some of your outdoor activity as we get into the weekend thanks for watching